everyone. Um, I wanted to show a listing I have for today. It is a um, packet of ephemera, and um, it comes in this um, book page plastic uh, sleeve to start. Um, I'm going to pull this out so you can see it. I've been trying to set up my camera for a couple days now to keep this in frame, and it's just really hard to to do. And um, so anyway, I hope it, it shows up well enough. So this is a page out of uh, Baltimore uh, Garden book. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the front page, and then in here is some text, and then uh, more text, and then more text on this one. And some of them have more um, uh, pictures in them. Uh, depends on which one you, you get. So the first thing I have is this little sticker. It's a butterfly. Um, there's like 56 pieces to this kit and I think it's a lot to um, use to make your journal start journaling this is a sari silk and there's enough to make a tie for a tag on that uh, these are some buttons and things I'll go over that in a little bit this is a uh, Tim Holtz paper doll um, from his collection I also have these in um, uh, black um, persons if you would want uh, those you can just um, let me know in the um, listing okay uh, this is a piece of crochet type lace uh, tablecloth sort of lace it would make a, a nice little pocket area or cut it up and use it on your tags and pockets and so forth this is a little piece of notebook from a, um, a very old uh, Chinese book. I think it probably was around the 40s when it was made uh, based on the cover. Um, it actually says it's from Shanghai, China, which is not just from China like we see today. So I thought it was a really pretty page. This is a piece of vintage um, crochet type uh, lace. It um, is large enough to put across the whole page of one of your uh, signatures or, uh, or a page for a signature. Uh, here's a smaller piece of vintage lace. It's also long enough to put across the whole book. Um, this is a very old little um, playing card from a child's game. This is from a postcard. This uh, double-sided picture here. This is a piece of um, coffee dyed doily that I cut and uh, this is um, a uh, stamp that I made from Norman Walkwall and uh, just put book page on the back and there's a couple in there this is a card from a playing card and has a little advertisement in the center of that it's another playing card with a design on the back and it can be embellished or um, made a journal card there's a couple of those this is a little piece of um, dictionary paper you can just use to collage with piece of um, paper ribbon I mean um, flower paper flower this is um, pieces of fabric this is uh, muslin that's been coffee dyed uh, this is a uh, quilters fabric here and it's been ripped and then there's another piece of quilters fabric and you can use this to make a collage with a um, little snippet or something like that it's another piece of that um, dictionary paper this is like a crocheted not crocheted um, um, embroidered type uh, ribbon or lace it's like see-through um, maybe a curtain or something like that type thing Anyway, it would be real pretty over the whole cover of a, a journal or a big portion of your journal cover. Another playing card. This is uh, Coca-Cola. This is a Minnie Mouse. Uh, came out of a uh, uh, Minnie Mouse book. Uh, it's very, very old. So it was probably in the early 30s or late 30s. These are postcards. Um, I don't know what the dates are exactly on these postcards, but um, I know that the ones I have are from 1909 up to 1970. These look uh, like they may be pretty old. Um, this one says, I think, 1924 on it. So uh, this one doesn't have a date, was never used. 
Here's some napkins. This is a napkin with a bird blue. Here's a pink napkin, full size napkin. This is a sunflower napkin. This is a half of a napkin. This is a uh, page from a atlas. Uh, this is Detroit area, Lake Michigan. Um, there's another part of an atlas in here too, this one here. These can be coffee dyed or uh, whatever you want to do. This is a little um, section of book. There's several pages here. I think there's 10 all together, so you probably have 20, 20 sheets. This is um, old time music uh, paper, it has the holes in it. This is just another um, paper, and this was stuck to it, so I left it on there. Just came from an uh, old magazine, um, so you might want to use that for ephemera. It's an encyclopedia uh, for Australian gardeners, is what it's, the book is from. This is a children's um, book. It's a nursery rhyme, both sides. This is out of a book that shows uh, different ways of handwriting. It tells about the specimens of the handwriting and what, what it means when they write in certain ways. This is from a hymn book uh, from a church, and um, there's hymns on, uh, there's music on both sides. You can use for a book page. This is a um, kid's um, flashcard, or it's probably for a teacher. It says 1980 Pensacola College. Um, this is just a plain envelope. It's ready to go if you want to coffee dye it or embellish it, collage it. This is another um, part of a book. Um, just an old book. It's been underlined by pencils, pencil for a classroom or something like that. This one is um, from a teacher's um, bulletin board type uh, card where they can uh, learn to write. It's the uh, teacher writes the letters and then they practice them on these, but they make uh, good uh, cards for um, your journal uh, tags. This is a piece of original. Um, dictionary page that I've coffee dyed on both sides of that. Here's another piece of book. Just a different um, type of font, different type of, of materials. This is a um, coffee dyed sheet of paper and a avocado dyed paper. This is a copy of the dictionary and then I printed a flower on the top. Um, all the um, packets come with somewhat similar uh, form, a little different, different flowers or different images. In here, I put in some miscellaneous things. Um, let me dump this out a little bit. It has um, a couple charms that come with it, three um, vintage buttons. This is a little uh, cling stamp. And they all have different uh, buttons, different charms, different stamps. This is just a regular postage stamp, uh, 37 cents, so I don't know how many years ago that was. Uh, this came from Shubi, uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah. I put a link to her website if you want to buy more of these images. She has tons of them on there. This is also one of her dictionary pages, I believe, that has little uh, dictionary uh, messages. These are um, stamps from a stamp book, like an S&H green stamp or blue chip stamp, but this is a Midwest style. It's um, top value stamps. So um, just a couple little fun things to play with for your journal. So I hope that uh, gives you some idea of what comes in this uh, packet. I think it's worth the money. Um, remember, too, that postage is included in that um uh, price and I thought I had another um, one to show you of these uh, people but I don't see it okay so um, have a great day what's left of it and I hope you enjoyed this and come back and see me for other videos and other things that I'm going to have on sale uh, at Etsy thank you have a great day